Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back uh, for another cheeky cook along Friday though. We haven't done cook along Friday for a couple of weeks, so uh, it's great to start back up again for sure. So it's uh, good to see you guys. Hope you're all having a fantastic uh, Friday. We're going to be making it toad in the hole. The hell's toad in the hole, chef? It's a British dish. So making a Yorkshire pudding batter, get some nice hot oil. Put the sausage in there into a either a muffin tray. We're going to do it in a large tray today. I actually might double it up because I might do some for the family as well. Maybe. We'll see. Um, anyway, so uh, we put it into a nice hot tray. Get that really hot, the oil. Uh, and then we're going to add the batter, the sausages to it. Put it in the oven. Do not open the oven. Whatever you do, you cannot open that oven door. Uh, reason for it because it will sink. Um, you want to let it rise and it'll come out nice and crispy and golden and then we're serving that with creamy mashed potato and we're doing some homemade gravy so i'm going to make a chicken stock as well uh, so i'm going to show you how to do that uh, for our gravy itself uh, ready to go so it's lovely to see you all this morning alf warbot taiko cryox tater salad uh binary it's lovely to see you howie i'm doing wonderful how are you doing my friend um happy birthday chef it's not my birthday but uh, i appreciate the support Kappa. <laughs> um, who else we got here? Uh, Kira, thank you so party. much for the host as well. I appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a, a lovely, cheeky... Um, I was going to say Thursday. Thursday was yesterday, uh, Friday morning. But it's good to see you guys. Um, I had great fun playing Sea of Thieves yesterday. It was uh, a hell of a blast with Mr. Matrix. And there he is, Mr. Ninja as well. I uh, hope you had fun as well, buddy. And uh, also uh, Mrs. Kitty Paws as well. But um, hope you guys are doing good. And... Um, Let's make a crack on for today, I think. So, let's switch over. Um, first thing we want to do, um, I'm going to give you some uh, tweets and stuff. So, giveaway, that is there. That ends next month. £10, $10 Amazon gift card for two people. Please feel free to enter that. Uh, if you use any kind of Amazon, I'll sort it out. So, uh, if you win, no problem. Um, what else we have? we got? Uh, missing my streaming. I haven't been able to stream the past like uh, like week. Ah, PC issues. Actually, heading to the Best Buy now to get it fixed up. Hopefully, I can get back tomorrow streaming. Uh, would be epic, but it's uh, you know when it happens, it happens. Binary. Don't stress yourself out about it. You know, I know it's frustrating sometimes, but if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world, is it? You know, got to look on the positive side of things. Morning, Chef. Morning, Larry. How you doing? Like, watched all play yesterday. It was great fun. I had great fun yesterday, and we got a hell of a lot of loot, new stuff, and it was a very nice chill day. Had a few cheeky beers as well. It was pretty good. It was fun. Um, right, what else? And also, if you want to support me, you can retweet my Twitter post, or if you want to do it on your own social media, please feel free to do so. I really appreciate it. Uh, also, if you're not following this wonderful chat, Mr. Warbot, go give him some follows. And then if we can get some other shoutouts for some other lovely streamers in here, I'd appreciate it. Um, go give some follows, guys, please. Right. First thing. Let me uh, scroll down because uh, I have no idea what we're doing. Kappa, no, I do really. Uh, first thing we need to do is actually probably make in the chicken stock. So uh, we're going to preheat the oven. Oh, it's far too hot today. It's going to actually thunderstorm all week this week. So um, next week, actually, sorry. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of storms next week. So uh, it'll be good. Um, but yeah, uh, let's turn the oven on. 180, 350 Fahrenheit, whichever one you prefer. So let's have bash this little bad boy on. Um, let's turn this on. Perfect. So this is going to be for the chicken bones. I forgot to pull my chicken bones out until this morning, but that's okay. They're slightly de part defrosted, but we want to put them in there for about 40 minutes or so. Uh, just until they're like pretty much golden as well. So, but yeah, it's going to be a uh, pretty warm one today though. So... Let's have a look. <laughs> so I'm going to get myself a roasting tray. Um, I feel like if I'm going to do this for the family, which I probably will be doing, I'm probably going to use this tray for it. Now, if you guys are cooking along, is anyone cooking along today? If not, that's fine. Uh, but just want to know, just so you can give me the heads up. Um, but yeah, usually on my recipe is actually a smaller tray or a smaller dish, which I've actually got up there. But I'm going to do a larger one because of the fact that I'm going to be cooking a little bit more for the family as well. So there we go. Um, potatoes. Oh yeah, my wife did buy me potatoes. Jesus, I nearly nearly had a heart attack. Oof. I thought, oh God. Oh God, he's done it again. He's forgot to buy something. No, it's okay. We got him. Fantastic. My wife's always got me covered. Right, so let's get these in here. Pop them in the uh, in the cheeky oven. 
Uh, Cloudy's helping me. Give me two spare solid state drives as well. A uh, small laptop and graphics program. She's amazing. That's really nice of her. Yeah, I'm still, still trying to sort my new um, computer out. My, uh, It's kind of halfway there, or it's pretty much there. But my admin is going to spend some time with me on the weekend. Because whenever I finish my stream, it's like 1am for him. Or it's really like early in the morning, so... The weekend he's off, so he said he's going to give me a hand on the weekend. I'm going to get it all fixed up. And then I can start worrying about this laptop and we can start moving on to new things. And then we can uh, hopefully rehaul the entire stream by week after the next or a couple of weeks. Let's get the, the basics. Let's start walking before we can start running. But I'd like to do that first as well. So we're going to have a, a total rehaul of the stream. Everything, every single thing I'm going to get uh, rid of and I'm going to start scratch and fresh again. Is that still a little bit hot? It's not so bad. I'm going to pop this in now while it's heating up. So we want this nice and nice and golden. So there we go. Let's pull that off. Let's wash my hands as well because, you know, chicken. Very important. So it's going to take about 40, 50 minutes uh, to get that nice golden stock. And we can let it take over anyway because we don't need the stock till later on until we're making the gravy. So it's not as if we need it like kind of first thing, uh, which is great. So... Beautiful. Who was that? <laughs> Jesus wept. All right. Chill. Uh, <laughs> to Todd Roki, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate it. And I uh, hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you so much for that host. <sighs> Rip fly. Poor little fly. He just got ripped. Hey, Sharice, what's up? Uh, I was. I wish I was cooking along, but I'm packing up everything. Just want to take a break to watch you, Chef. No, that's understandable. You're moving house, aren't you? A lot of people seems to be moving house, but it is summertime, so that's understandable. But yeah, if you can't do it, you can do this in your own time, because this will be on my website, which is not a problem. Um, so if you type in exclamation mark website, it'll be on the recipe blog, so you can do this in your own time whenever. But that won't be until tonight, so it won't be on there just yet. Um, when making it like a bolognese, when should I add some, like, creme fraiche to it? I usually add it just at the end. Uh, not sure if that's the best. Uh, yeah, at the, at the end. If you add it when you're, like, kind of cooking it for an hour or an hour or a couple of hours, what will happen, the creme fraiche will split in there. It won't be very good. So, yeah, when you're adding it, last thing, perfect. Good job, Alf. But, yeah, you shouldn't add it when you're going to be cooking it during the most of the day because otherwise it will split. It's a last-minute thing. It's like... Um, sometimes you want to add like kind of cream to a sauce or something like that. Um, that doesn't necessarily does split with the cream, but creme fraiche will split. So, uh, but yeah, thank you, chef. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Right. So, chickens in. Let's get the uh, base pan and stuff for the stock. So, large pan uh, with a tablespoon of oil. We're going to put that onto a medium heat, right? Or oh, a low heat. Okay, that's fine. Peel dice up, white onions. Um, so we're just going to get all the veggies ready. So I've got white onion, celery stick, two garlic cloves, a sprig of thyme, which I don't have, but that's fine. That's fine. So you can actually play around with that stock as much as you want. You can have like whatever flavors you want in there if you want, guys. Um, so if you haven't got something or you want to get rid of something or you want to add something, you can do. You can play around with it as much as you want. So, um, you know, you can change the flavors to your own accordance. Um, right. So I haven't got uh, thyme. I've got celery. Also got onion on top of my fridge. And also, what else do I want? Oh, garlic, of course. Your donut. Plenty of garlic. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go for two cloves. If you want to add two or three more, go for it. Whatever you fancy. If you want that kind of sauce to be a bit more stronger in garlicky flavor, you can do. Uh, for, your, for your gravy, or for your stock, you know. Um, but I'm only going to do two or three. I'm not going to go too crazy with it. Depending on how big these are. I'd say three. I said two, but... Good two medium-sized cloves. There we go. But yeah. They're a little bit on the small side, so we're going to go for three. Or if you want to add a half a bulb, or if you want to roast a uh, bulb of garlic down, and, you know, you want to add roasted garlic to your stock. It's always, always doable. So. Um, sorry, what else? Uh, one onion. And that's it, right? And my celery stick. Yep. Beautiful. And thyme I don't have, but that's fine. So if you've got some fresh thyme, that'll work a treat. If you don't, don't stress yourself about it. Oh, I need to buy some more onions next week as well. Oof. I was actually thinking of a new kind of dish this morning as well. Um, I was thinking about doing... Um, meow. 
Meow. Right, meow. Random meow. There he is. <laughs> Rex, this is your cheeky chap. Thank you so much for the 100 meow biddies. I appreciate that support. How you doing this morning? Good, sir. Um, yeah, I was thinking of a new dish this morning, and um, I was thinking about doing some kind of, like, maybe salmon burger, to be honest with you, because I wanted to use a little bit more fish and uh, try some more fish, at least, like, next week. Um, so next week is actually going to be my last week, not streaming, but um, I'm taking a week off because I'm going to, um, um, where's the place called again? <laughs> I know the town. The town's called Memphis, but um, I'm going to be going to... Um, I can't think of the state name now. Somebody somebody help me out. But anyway, I'm going to go see Mr. Hands, and um, we're going to be traveling over there. It's going to take us like a 15-hour drive. So uh, I'm going to be gone for a week. We might be um, streaming one of the days, though. Uh, not next week, but the week after. And then we'll be back probably on Monday. If, it, if I'm not back on that Monday, which is like, I'm going to give you some dates here. Tennessee, thank you so much, buddy. Um, where is it? If I'm not back on the 5th, I'll probably start on Tuesday. So it depends how much if I can squeeze in. Like, traveling back is going to be exhausting because we're going to travel back, I think, on the Sunday or the Saturday. Then we got to get, like, shopping done as well. So it's going to be a lot. And my wife needs to start school again. So it's a lot to squeeze in. So I might take that Monday off. We'll see. Uh, on the 5th of July. What's that? August. Oh, Jesus. Time's flying by. So on the 5th of August, I might be off. I don't know. We'll see as well. But uh, I'll, I'll keep keep your eyes on the events page and you know, I'll keep, I'll let you know anyway about it. So it's not a problem. Right here. So large pan, right? Deep deep deeps. Right, let's put this on here. Put this on to like a lowish heat. Sorry. Uh, we're going to add a tablespoon of oil. Canola, vegetable, whatever you fancy. Whatever you fancy, guys. There we go. Currently trying not to melt. How hot is it over there, Mr. Mr. Rexus? Today it's going to get hit like 35 Celsius over here, which is, I think, 80, 90, 90 Fahrenheit? I think so. I think so. Something along those lines. Mm -hmm -hmm. Right, let's get my knife. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. So, what am I going to do? Jesus. Oh, dear. Let's have a look. Is it okay in the middle or not? Mmm, kind of. I have got another one. I think these ones have, because of the heat lately, might have killed off my onions a little bit, but let's have a look. I've got a few more here, so it's not really an issue. I mean, I could probably use this part, to be honest. Let me just open this up. If it will come out. Hold on. Yeah, this one's good. Okay. So I'm still going to use part of this. Just going to get rid of these uh, bad leaves. But yeah, sometimes if you've got really bad humidity, the onions won't last as long. So let's see if I can oh, take some of this out and apart. So let's just chop this. I only want it rough chop anyway, so that'll do. I'm just going to try and salvage something out of this onion, even if it's not a lot. But yeah. If you see an onion like that, if it's like damaged all the way through, then just throw it. But to be honest with you, most of it's okay. About half of it we saved, so rather than wasting, wasting it, right? Let's use half of it. <laughs> and these ones are quite small onions anyway, so but you want a good medium-sized onion just for this. You don't go too crazy with it. But anyway, let's try this one. Yeah, this one's a lot better, so we're all good. So straight in half. Take the peelings off. <laughs> Pulling faces. Oh, it's a bad onion. I know, yeah, it happens, guys. It happens. Depends how hot it is in your house or the humidity. And It's been quite humid this week, to be honest with you, so I'm not surprised some of them are slightly going off a little bit quicker than per usual. So that's, that's normal. Right. So what we're going to do is dice this into small dice not too small uh just a rough chop nothing too crazy so just a just a rough rough small small dice right beautiful morning chef morning robo how's it going how is your uh, cheeky friday morning going i hope it's going well it's lovely to have you here so let's cut these down beautiful right so what we're gonna do um we're gonna chuck them straight into the pan once that's nice and Nice and hot. 
can probably chuck it in now, actually. Start them cooking them down. So they can start sizzling away. So as I said, it's on a low heat. You don't want to be going like sizzling like crazy. Uh, just to start it going. Very gently. Right, so let's do these uh, garlic cloves as well. I'm not going to grate them, so probably can just crush them a little bit and then just chuck them straight in. <laughs> so let's take the ends off. Give that a little bit of a bash. Using the heel of your hand as well on the flat part of the knife. Do not hold the knife up like that. Do not hold the knife that down that li like that because you'll bust the blade. Uh, just make sure it's nice and straight. Maybe a little bit down, pointing downwards. And then just use the heel of your hand, doing it very gently. If you don't feel comfortable with it, maybe just grab a rolling pin and just whack it or use a bottom of a pan or, you know. So if you don't feel comfortable using the knife and you're worried about damaging it or hurting yourself, then just use something else. Just use your common sense, all right? So let's take these off. Um, and we can just chuck these straight in. In with the uh, onions. Uh, at this point, I would be adding thyme if I had some, but unfortunately I don't. So um, I would add a nice little sprig of thyme as well. But, you know, if you haven't got it, don't stress about it. It's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. If you want to add a bay leaf, you could do. I haven't put it on the recipe. You could chuck a bay leaf. I might chuck a bay leaf in there instead of thyme. So we'll get that on the go. So let me grab... Uh, where's my little cheeky bay leaf... Uh, uh, what's it called? Ah, here it is. Perfect. Hey, Tom. What's up? Can we get a shout-out for me, Tom? If we've got any moddies available or around. I appreciate it. Um, it's currently 87 Fahrenheit, but the humidity is 68. <sighs> yeah, that humidity is not nice. In the UK, we our temperatures were never, like, very high. But the humidity would usually sit around 100%. So it was usually very uncomfortable in the summertime. Most of the time it is, but yeah, we don't usually have hot temperatures in the UK, but more of uh, uncomfortable 